¿Cuál es el 1.7? Seguimos. Hi, teacher. Hello, morning. How do you feel? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Man. Hello, Lillian. Do you feel better? Good evening, teacher. Ana Beatriz, how do you feel? Your voice Hola. sounds like... Ya, aquí de nuevo. Okay. Todavía un poco mal, pero aquí estamos, teacher. Gracias. Sí, estoy oyéndole su voz todavía. Con un poco... Se me hizo bastante crónico, la verdad. Sí, eso. Por eso no pude asistir, porque... O sea, me agarra el exceso de todo, la verdad, y... Y esfuerzo mucho la garganta. Así es que, pero aquí estoy de nuevo, teacher. Gracias. Ok.
Okay, let me see the attendance now. I got to live. Okay, we are almost ready to start. I hope you feel uh, really, really, really nice today in order that we can start class. Remember, we are close to finish this module. So I invite you to participate. Anna Lillian, how do you feel today? Hi, teacher. How do you feel? Everything okay? Ah, espérame, teacher, es que no le quité la evidencia, pero ya estoy bien. Bueno, okay. tienen condiciones de participar y todo. Okay. Ya ahorita lo, lo corrí. Me voy a salir para poder hacerlo porque así no puedo. Ya entro, ¿no? Es? Ok. Laura is coming to. Laura, Laura, Laura. Teacher, ya pasó lista. No, oh, yet. Okay. I'm still waiting because I need to have at least the half plus one, you know. Okay, I got it here. Ana Beatriz? Present teacher. Okay. Ana Lillian? Present teacher. Escobar. Present.
Shalina? Present. Diana? Present, teacher. Okay. Eric Orlando? Jose Jonathan? Not here. Juan Carlos Rivas? Present teacher. Laura? Laura? Laura. María Concepción. Present teacher. María Elena. María Elena. It's not here. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, sir. Saira Marlene. Present teacher. Okay. Misael. Misael. It's not here. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Okay. Yesenia Lisette Asensio. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher, no me mencionó. Ahorita, ahorita. Right now. Okay. Teacher, good evening. Laura. Laura. Este, no podía conectar el sonido, teacher. Por okay. eso no contesté. Okay, Laura. Welcome. Okay, this is class number 20. Before we start talking about the topic, uh, let us talk a little bit about the common. Okay, uh, let us talk about this activity. Favorite holidays. You are going to choose your three favorite holidays and you are going to tell us to somebody else uh, why you like each one. And you got some example there. For example, uh, somebody said, I really like Independence Day. And somebody asked, what do you like about it? This is the day when we watch the rays and fireworks. Do you do anything special? We usually have a barbecue. My, my father makes burger, my mother makes her special potato salad and so on. Okay, you are going to, uh, remember you are going to choose 
your three favorite holidays. And you are going to talk with somebody else. And then later on, you are going to tell us about your partner. Let me see how many people do I have now. I got 14. How many listeners? I got Selena, one. Let me see somebody else. I'm seeing, okay, let me see. Okay, you are going to talk with somebody else related with the holidays. And then you are going to uh, share the information. For example, if I were with uh, Escobar, if I were with Escobar and, and he shared the info with me uh, at the moment that I'm going to share with the class, I'm going to say, okay, uh, Escobar favorite holidays are this, this, and this because he preferred this because this, you know, that is what I want to to see. And then uh, the another person is going to talk. Uh, oh, Escobar is going to talk about them. I need that you interact with each other in that way, in order that you can share the info. You are going to have uh, just five minutes in order to do this. And then we are going to share it. Like we put it this picture, no? Okay, let me see if I got the right number. Remember, I, I do it randomly. At random, you know, because of the system, sometimes that you get with the same person. Recuerden que la elección de, de cuando se hacen los grupos, como se pone automático, es el mismo sistema que los crea, porque así está diseñado. Así es que si aparecen con la misma persona, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. Va a decir alguien, alguien me dijo hace en unos módulos, solo con la misma persona lo, lo hago automáticamente. Así que no me culpe a mi culpa el sistema de la máquina. Ok, here we go. Ok.
María Elena. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. The activity that they are doing is that they are going to choose the favorite holiday and they are going to talk about that. And in, if you choose three, you need to tell me the reason why you should. Mm. I don't know, for the cushion in group. They, they, they are, they are discussing in pairs. They are discussing this in pareja. For nerd. Pero eso es, but this is only about Independence Day or in our country is many, many days. Yes. Yeah, you can you can choose uh, the one that you prefer. It's up to you. I don't understand. You don't understand. Let me show you here what you are going to do. Put it there. It's in a speaking activity that you're going to choose your favorite holidays. You're going to use city favorite holidays. And tell us the reason why you should. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Twenty four December. No, twenty five. Twenty five, twenty four. Twenty four in the night. Twenty five in the morning. Maybe is my favorite holiday. Ah, okay. Because. Um, I don't know how do you say Catholic, but I am Catholic. Catholics. <laughs> and Catholics. Catholics. And Catholics. And the holiday is special. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Always, every single day, every single year, it is special because many people uh, arrived to my home. Ah, okay. Uh, they have this, I don't know, Jenna. How do you say Jenna? Empty. Oh, crowd of people is better. That word, crowd of people. Crows people. Yes, you got a crow. A crow people in my house. Familiars. No, ¿cómo se dice familiar? Se dice... Um, Relatives. Relatives. Siempre me olvida. Relatives, friends, um, girlfriends from my uncles. <laughs> oh. Oh. And when my grandma, we, we will, no, we go to the church. Okay. In, in, in eight, nine, no, nine uh, years ago, my husband, uh, your birthday is 25 December and it's more special. <laughs> his, his, birth, his birthday. His birthday. His birthday. His birthday. Oh, his. His, his birthday is 25. Five. It's Thursday. It's 25. It's more special for that. Mm. Only uh, for you, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. 
Well, in my case, I prefer all the hobby that I have here because um, I, got, I, I had the opportunity to do something else that I can do during the, the work time, you know. In fact, even though that I don't have uh, my mom here in El Salvador, but I, I like the Mother Day because uh, I used to go to different places with my family. And well, what I do is just to make phone call in an early day in order to talk with my mom. And also the, the Labor Day too, because uh, we can go to different places, but sometimes it is not uh, on weekends. Uh, that is kind of bored, but we have to do all that we can do in order to enjoy that day, the, the days off that we have. Okay, let us see what uh, the rest of the class can say about this. Okay, who wants to start talking about this? And talking about holidays, in El Salvador we have, uh, I don't know how many days do we have, but I guess that we have like uh, maybe eight or 10 or, or more maybe. And I remember when I used to live in the, in the United States, only as uh, the Independence Day, is one, let me see, the Labor Day and the ten given day, only have four, three or four. But in El Salvador, we got a lot, you know. Okay, who wants to start? Me, teacher. Okay, Diana. A decir, Diana en I was with Carlos and he told me that he liked uh, the Holy Weekend because he, he visit his family. And that's... <laughs> okay. Diana say uh, two date special. Uh, one is your two birthdays uh, because uh, the, the visit families in the other day is August. Uh, you you um, visit different plates for example the, the the playas pardon playa in english beach beach of the s of the el salvador you like the the mountain hey. do you like visit the mountain Okay, uh, what, what we need to switch is just um, maybe the possessive adjective at the moment that you refer to somebody else. If you are talking to Diana, you are not going to say your birthday, you are going to say her birthday. Yeah? Okay. okay thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, remember that you are, uh, are talking about her. Her birthday, uh, she likes her birthday because uh, she go, goes to different places. Uh, she likes mountain too and so on. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Who's next, who's next? No next. No? Okay, let us start talking about the topic if you don't want to share your information. Maria. Uh, uh, Saira, 
she likes uh, Holy Week, but okay. she goes to the beach with with her family. And I would call the um, visit the, the his parents. And December holidays, uh, enjoy Christmas with your family. With? With your family. With my family. Ay, perece, yo no sé cómo se dice. Su familia de ella. My family. Your my family. family. Her, her family. Family, ok. Her family. Possessive objective. His, her, yours. There's our, try to keep in mind. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, okay, somebody else. Uh, Zaira, Zaira, adelante. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. My conception de um, Holy Week, August vacation, and December vacation. Uh, Holy Week, she visit uh, the share with her parents. They eat eggs, they only heal her two days, and she rest at her house. And finally, in December, she also enjoys with her parents. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Yesenia. <laughs> my, my, my partner is Laura. And she, she said he, her favorite day is Christmas. She said um, really likes um eat eat turkey with sauce and bread. Also say me told me told me she like, told me <laughs> she told oh. me like like much watch fireworks and I don't know that's it okay thank you well let us continue with the next topic remember it's, it's really important to have this kind of uh, topic because you had the opportunity to to practice you know Really, really, really important. Okay, let us switch a little bit and then start talking about the, the material that we have. Okay, we have some questions. You can find this question. Let me see the numbers of pay where you can find it. Uh, you can find it on page number 32. And we have uh, two different questions. Who wants to read the following? Who wants to read the first question? Me teacher. Okay. How are the materials? Ma machinery are always found in a warehouse. How do you keep your employees out of danger? Oh, okay. Oh. Out of out of danger. How do you keep your employees out of danger? And the second one, what kind of dangerous material and chemicals may be found in the warehouse? 
we have two different questions. In order to answer this question, uh, you are going to work with somebody else, or maybe in the three of you are going to be together. And you are going to make a list about the five questions. How do you keep your employees out of danger? And also what kind of dangerous material and chemical may be found in a warehouse? In another word, you need to create a presentation and share with the rest in order to enrich uh, this question uh, with different words and, and vocabulary. If you want, uh, you can make a screenshot of what the two questions before I, I stop sharing. Okay, it's done, I guess. Let me switch a little bit. I got 15, okay. Let me switch here. Maria Elena, let's see how many devices do you have? Ah, oh, you have two, I guess. Maria Elena, what are you say? Two. Um, okay, Maria, Maria Elena, what are you say? Let me switch, let me switch a little bit. Hold on, hold on. You are in room one, and at the same time you are in in room five. I'm going to move you to room five. I guess it's going to be better if I move. Okay, it's very simple. You are going to create uh, some uh, two lists, different lists, and then you are going to share this. Any questions so far from here about what you are going to do? No? Question, question. Uh, question number one, perhaps sharp machine or or very exposed to high voltage concurrent okay at the moment that you are going to create your your presentation related with this uh, uh, you are going to consider also the hard material, hardest material, and also uh, how do you keep your employees out of dangers. And also, uh, you need to talk about what kind of dangerous material and chemical may be found in a warehouse. Try to, to think about that. And then we are going to share it with the class, okay? Okay, here we go.
Misael, you can join to team number one. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome, sir.
What about the rest? I don't see then. Okay, here we go. Here we go again. Okay, before you talk about this, uh, let me check out again the attendance. Ana Beatriz? Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Escobar. Present. Selina. Present. Diana. Present. Eric. Jonathan? Juan Carlos? Present. Laura? Present, teacher. Maria Concepción? Present, teacher. Maria Elena? Present. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Mayra. Present teacher. Saira Marlene. Present teacher. Misael. Present teacher. Eh, Wendy. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jonathan is not here. Okay, Tiro, who wants to talk first? Teacher, I'm here, sorry. Oh, okay. My okay. connection is failing. Okay, okay, no, don't, don't worry about it. Let me check out. Okay. Who wants to start talking about this? Let me, let me give you the chance that you can share your... Okay. Let us do it now, please. Other material. Ana Lilian, JC and I. Okay. Ana Lilian, please. Hazardous material and machinery are always found in a warehouse. One, how do you do you get? Take your employees out of down here. 
sim, simples the work area and constantly training they in their areas to what kind of dangerous material and chemicals may be found in a warehouse all crazy oxy, oxygen propane gas argon nitrogen and r six set what happened there Could you put again, please? Could you share again? Bigger, okay. Talking about Hasero's material and machinery. Signpost. Ana Lilian. Let me, let me Sign post. Yes, and something else. Let me see. Kind. What kind of? What kind of? What kind of? What kind of the years? Material and chemicals may be found in a warehouse. Okay, don't forget this word. What kind? Kind. Kind of kind of yeah at the moment that we speak in a fact way we say kind kind of kind of kind of dangerous material we don't say kind of but in this maybe this level we can say it that way but as soon as you are going to start with the you know, level you are going to see and hear that the were these two words we say kind kind of what kind kind of what kind of dangerous you know okay Try to keep in mind. Thank you, somebody else. Who's next? School, uh, school is there. Can you see it? Yes, Scar, I can see it. Some materials and machinery are always found in a warehouse. How do you keep your employees out of danger? Sorry. Daisy. <laughs> Level hard those materials, establish evacuation route in case of accident. How, how do you say? How do you say here? Okay. Go on. Uh, Where? I, don't, I don't know if Where? you see. If you see my mouse pointer, I don't know if you see it. The full word right here. Label, label, hazard material. Label. label, okay. Okay, continue. What kind of dangerous materials and chemicals may be found in our health where, warehouse? Solvent? Oil, explosive material. Toxic gases, disinfectant, blanch, ocean, and smoke. Ah, okay. I guess, uh... You are missing a question. How do you keep your employees out of 
a danger. You need to take into account this question too. But let us continue. Next, somebody else? Somebody else. Good evening. Um, we speak with Laura and Maria Concepcion about how do you keep your employees out of danger and identify two. The first is identify mark hazard zones clearly in a warehouse. And number two, reducing exposure to hazard substance, suggestions or reducing exposure to hazard substance in a warehouse. The third re Laura. Okay, mm -hmm. identifying mark hazard song clearly in our, in our house. Seams and stickers are the most cost effective and functional way of keeping your warehouse organizing and safe from hazard situation. Leveling, leveling uh, rash equipment and material clearly can help water prevent serious injuries. Also, it is important that the emerging exits and the surface road to them are clearly made marked. And the second, I am third and later Maria Concepcion. Um, Reducing exposure to hazard substance suggestion or reducing exposure to hazard substance in the in a warehouse include where possible perform the task without using hazard substance. Where possible substitute hazard substance with less hazard alternative. For example, use detergents in place of chloride salt of clean, for cleaning, isolate hazard substance in separate storage areas. Marie. Important storage areas separately from the rest of the workplace. Totally train employees in handling um, Safety to procedures, provide personal protection equipment, equipment such as respirator, gloves, and googles. Regular, regularly monitor the workplace with appropriate equipment, but the rate of hazard substance in the air or environment. Regularly consult with employees to maintain and improve existing safety and in practice. Environment. <laughs> environment, environment. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. Somebody else? What's that? Saira, Mario, and my teacher. Okay. Warehousing material and machinery are always housed in the warehouse. The machinery is identified in the place or space that can cause an accident or identify when there is repairing with locks and the tents. Saira. Okay. How do you keep your employees of the day? Yeah. Employees are constantly they train on a danger that can be caused if the machinery is missionary. Mario. What kind of dangerous materials and chemicals may be found in a warehouse? Cleaning chemicals such as quaternary ammonia, oxane they are cleaning, and acid, explosive, oxidizing, flammable, toxic, harmful, corrosive irritants. Somebody else? Who's missing? Who's missing? So? Okay, don't forget the question that you have there. Do you keep your employees out of, how do you keep your employees out of danger? And you already mentioned in the, the last question, what kind of dangerous material and chemical may be found in a warehouse, different kinds of chemical. But maybe the most important question here is how do you keep your employees out of danger in order to to have a, a better idea, we are going to continue with this activity that you can find. Uh, let me see the number of the page. 32. Read the statement about warehouse uh, safety procedure. Okay, I need a, a volunteer who wants to start reading a little paragraph and then somebody else. Who wants to start reading? Me, teacher. Okay. Uh, there is more to warehouse safety than obedience to fire codes and safety regulation. Continue? Yes, please. Uh, unfortunately, too many warehouse and trivials look at safety as meeting the minimum in structure by the law or their conscience. In the long run, however, a safe warehouse environment delivers important cost saving through higher employee satisfaction and increased productivity. 
fewer workplace disruption and reduce abstinence and equipment downtime. Okay, uh, let us analyze for this part. I need uh, somebody tell me the main idea of this paragraph. What, what happened? What is the reason why uh, sometimes we have some problem in some companies? What do you consider is the main reason? The keywords, I need that you identify the keywords. I don't know if you have an idea related with the scheming and the scanning in a text. Teacher, um, for my point of view in the reading, Maybe he's for the law, the minimum instructed by the law or the conscience. Uh, many employees needing to um, cumplir, cumplir la ley. Regulations. Okay, okay. They not do close. <laughs> they don't pay attention to the to the regulation. Regulation, the law in the countries. For this is access safety meetings. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Hey, teacher. Okay, tell me, sir. The uh, Indus, uh, bueno, son, son one. Indus is not consider the safety important uh, but see it uh, expensive when common gasto yeah yeah i know it's, it's, very, it, it's very common in, in the industry in, in, in the el salvador mm, okay could you could you mention some aspect uh related with this uh, the the uh, um, price the valor the cost valoran más el, el costo que la seguridad a ver. The, the cost of the material the services and and something related with that yes ah oh, okay yeah that is that is the reason why in the paragraph uh, you can find uh, at the beginning a word that is telling you what it happened uh, there. The, some, some companies, they take into account only just uh, the cost. They don't care about the, the safety of their employees. But what about your, your, your workplaces? Could you tell me if you have uh, a kind of plan in order to avoid accident or something like that? Hello, hello. Yes, well. Maybe we Maybe. are going, 
Okay, continue. Maybe the warehouse in particular is in, is is low in my company, but for example, I in my work many employees um, motorcycles and okay. for others okay. the safety is only helmets <laughs> no jacket no i don't know how, how do you say rodillera they, they, they don't they don't use a, a vest a reflective vest reflective no <laughs> not existed. only basic <laughs> helmets Ah, okay. In my case, it is more. Okay. And also, you can you can see in the second line. However, a safe warehouse environment delivers important costs, saving through higher employee satisfaction and increased productivity, fewer workplace disruption, and reduce absentees and equipment downtime. You know, this is uh, really, really important that we need to take care about. I remember I used to work in a in a company uh, out of this country, and I, all the time they asked us to use helmet. And one day, I had an accident. Since to got into the helmet, I didn't lose one of my eyes, you know, but because something uh, fall down on the top, and I was uh, under the contractions. And my helmet uh, broke in two pieces, but I didn't got any, any hairs in, in my head, you know? And I remember that I, that I, I was using also glasses at that moment. And what, when the accident happened, I, I, I was trying to, to look for my glass and, and, and I didn't find it. And, and later on, somebody uh, told me that only found uh, some pieces, but since God, I didn't have any, any. And it's really, really important because at the moment, uh, at least out of this country, uh, if we have an accident, the company had to pay a lot of money. But uh, right here, I don't know. I have my doubts related with that. If somebody have an accident, but they, maybe they are going just to pay at the moment that you are going to be in the hospital. But uh, later on, maybe they are not going to give you any money, you know. But had to do with with uh, the control that maybe the government how uh, with this with this issue. I don't know what what do you think about this? Okay, somebody I want to continue reading, please. Who wants to continue reading? Okay, I'm going to read the respect employees to start with the culture of safety at work. Establishing a safety culture, including the necessary operational changes and training and education program. Start with you. What does it mean for you this two lines? Tell me. Uh, the company must invest in those um, work 
workshops or talks to their employees to the right way, how to act uh, to face any issue. Okay. But in some cases, are the employees that had to buy all the equipment? Because I remember when I used to start working in a company and they asked me to, to wear a steel toe shoes in order to avoid any accident. The company uh, just tell me the characteristic and I and I had to, to get it. And I went to buy it, you know. And I remember the superintendent of the world told me, okay, as soon as you get all the equipment, just let me know if you are going to start working. And what I had to do is just to buy my own helmet, my glasses, my gloves, and my steel toe shoes, and a lot of different equipment that I need to use. Okay, the following are some measure, measure you could start implementing with your team. Okay, who wants to read? Letter A. Who wants to read it? Make sure that garbage and debris vines are available throughout house, the warehouse. What does it mean? In simple words. Tell me. Maybe I'm having trouble with my my microphone or something now because I can hear you. Somebody's trying to give a his or her point of view related with this. Try to use your vocabulary to give me an explanation, even though that is really clear, but I, I want to hear from you in a different way. Who wants to explain a letter A? Anybody? Maybe it refers to those waste that the company uh, produce every day. Um, one of the advices is to uh, take them out of the place where the employees are. Ah, okay. It, uh, it talk about the risk beans. I guess every every company need to have a uh, an special play in order to to put uh, all the garbage and debris, you know, that they produce. They need to be in a in a, a specific area, maybe far from uh, the place where most of the employees are. Okay, let it be. Who wants to read it? Block access to explosive or open load reading. Loading doors. Okay, thank you.
what does it mean? Maybe, teacher, this is necessary because when you see, um, I don't know, in a space, cualquiera se puede parquear, entonces necesitan que esté bloqueado. I don't know, how do you see in English? <laughs> I, I got your point. I got your point, but um, how to do with blocks and at the same time open loading docks? There. Mm. Okay, so Maria. Maybe for reduce accidents, de que alguien caiga. Si algo de carga tiene que estar como en alto. Ah, okay. As I told you before, um, every company need to have a specific place. And in that play, maybe could be blocked or maybe open at a moment that uh, they need to move to their spins. Or even when we talk about loading dogs doors, we know that uh, we are talking about in a specific play. What about letter, letter C? Keep aisles and passageway clear at all times. Okay. This is very specific. I don't know uh, in your company, but I guess it's part of the rule that we need to obey that uh, we need to see different signs in the companies, you know. Exits, uh, main entrance, different areas. Because uh, suddenly when, when something happens, we can have different kind of problem. Different kinds. Not only fire, but also flood. Remember, right now it is raining, and uh, if your company is close to a difficult area, you need to be careful about. And for that reason, I, I was telling you that every company need to have uh, a plan in order to to resolve any kind of problem related with that. And I think that uh, there is. Um, an entity in uh, right here in El Salvador that supervise all those aspects in, 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 in companies. Maybe it's, uh, it is the El Ministerio de Trabajo. The one in share to to check all these kind of uh, material that every company needs to have, you know. Okay, what about letter D?
Letter D. Uh, teach employees to push ma manual material handling equipment whenever possible, greater than pull. Uh, only that. Okay, thank you, thank you. But, but what about letter D? You missed letter D. Letter D. 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 Keep, keep your back straight. Don't bend over. Don't bend, don't bend over. Don't bend over. What is that? Okay. What is that? Explain. Somebody wants to tell me. Maybe it refers to those employees that has to lift uh, heavy things. I guess it's a, a recommendation not to get an a mud cake, I guess. Ah, okay. And also, if you uh, work in an office, you need to to follow some rule how you are going to stay sitting in your in, in, in your chair, you know? Okay, and now- Teacher, this for postural hygiene, hygiene postural. Okay. Como higiene postural, no sé cómo se dice. Eso es. Could you repeat again? Higiene postural. Okay. No sé cómo se dice. Yeah, it, it is related with that, you know. Ergonomy. In, in, in the way how you are going to, to stay. Imagine a, a secretary that is uh, receiving a lot of phone calls and suddenly uh, she took, uh, she takes the, the, the telephone this way. At the end of the day, she's going to have some problems, you know. For that reason, uh, we need to know exactly how we are going to behave in different areas. Imagine in the place uh, where you are working. Um, you need to, to to wear glasses and you say, no, I'm, I'm not going to use it. What happened if you, if you got, have an accident related with that? What do you think can, could happen? The first thing that maybe uh, being shot of the company is going to do is just to, to watch the videos in order to be sure what happened. Because nowadays, uh, most of the, the companies, they have cameras in order to check everything that is happening there inside, you know. And letter E, teach employees to push manual material, handling equipment whenever possible, rather than pull loads, you know. What is that? Push manual material, hand handling equipment, you know, whenever possible, rather than pull loads. What is that? Tell me. I don't know if you remember the first time that you uh, 
uh, start working in, in maybe in, in the place you are now. At the beginning, somebody told you, okay, uh, but before you start working, you need to assist to a training. And there, they explain you everything related with the way that you need to uh, in different moments, you know? And if you if you need to move something that is really heavy, how you are going to do it in order to avoid accidents? And maybe uh, you can use a, a fall leaf to move something instead of doing by manual. That is an, uh, another issue that you need to know exactly how to use this kind of uh, machinery that, that we can find in different areas. Teacher, uh, okay, I, tell me. So one years ago in, in other company, eh, ellos tenían como una especie de carretilla, pero no sé cómo se dice in English. La cosa es que it's more efficiently push that to pull. Because see if a pull maybe accident maybe can ellos también pueden tener un accidente o, o lastimarse si, si, lo, si, si lo jalan en vez de empujarlo. Yes. Es, son como repetidas unas cosas manuales para como cargas muy pesadas. Entonces, yes. si ellos <laughs> se I pueden know. lastimar, lastimar yeah. a alguien. Yeah, and, and one of the reasons why the, most of the company use pallet is that because the pallet lets them to, to put uh, the equipment and to lift it. Esa es una de las razones de ser de, de las, de las pallets que ya vienen diseñadas para poder eh, meter el, 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 la herramienta y poder levantarlo fácilmente. Yeah, you can see it in Walmart. Uh, only one person is moving a, a heavy, heavy weight, you know? For that reason, let F talk about that. Test the load before lifting it. If it is too heavy or bulky, get help. In other words, this means that you need to be careful. If you can't move something, ask for help or try to use another equipment in order to avoid accidents. What about letter G? Who wants to read it? Garbage, boxes, uh, belly material, debris, dirt, and oil. You need to put away in order to avoid accidents. And their age permit accident to avoid floor, rocks, and shoulders only if portable letter or appropriate lifting devices are available. Okay, cost of the time, what you need to do next is, based on next on number three, your term, you are going to classify the security measure of all in the category from the box below. And then you are going to compare with somebody else. We have general housekeeping, falls in another preventable measure, manual lifting and full lift in material handling equipment. Okay, try to classify it. I'm going to give you some minutes in order to do this. And then we are going to compare with somebody else, okay? Try to work on it.
Okay, let us start it now. I don't know if you already finished. Okay, um, let us start with the third category. Just tell me the letter that you consider that belong to this category. Letter A. Letter? A. Okay, letter A and letter One is missing, one is missing. Letter G. Okay, H and G, bingo. If you have in a different way, yeah, so please try to check it and read again because the right one is A and G for the third one, general housekeeping. Okay, what about the, the next one? The next category. Letter B and H. Bingo two. Okay, B and H. What about uh, manual lifting? Letter. D and F, teacher. Letter. D. In N F. E N F. Yes. Okay, bingo two. And the last one. Four leaf and material handling equipment. Letters. Letter C and E, teacher. C and E, okay. Yes. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. I get the all for today. Let me check out the attendance. Where is the attendance? Teacher in the platform E. Uh, um. The platform, what it happened in the platform? Has error. Has a error. Another? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, could, could you, could you uh, send me a text uh, message in order to send it to the, okay. the, to the people in share of that in order that they can fix it? At it's, least. It's, impo it's impossible correction because it, the numbers, the numbers from exercise ah, the is the problem. Okay. Yes. They it's need impossible. To 2020 and lost, lost a number for our, our exercise. Exercise. Okay, but so please, if you can send me, send me a, uh, uh, the picture related with that activity, you know? Okay, teacher. And what I'm going to do is just to send it, send it to, the, to them in order that they can do something. I send, I remember yeah. I send. The one that you already uh, shared with me, I, I already sent it. I'm still okay. waiting for an answer, but I don't have it now. And as I told you, I, I, I don't know if at the beginning, I know the, the main share of uh, all the material in the platform. Now, my duties are only just to attend you right here in soon. And, but, but not related with uh, create quizzes and something like that. No, I, I handle only, only just uh, your grades. I put it in the in charge. But not 
related to to create question and something like that. Somebody else is in charge. And for that reason, uh, what I do is just to collect all the information and send it. Okay. okay. Let me let me see. Uh, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ana Lilian. Present. Escobar is there. Present. Selina. Diana. Present teacher. Okay, Eric. Present. Thank you, sir. Jose Jonathan. Juan Carlos. Laura. Present teacher. Maria Concepcion. Present teacher. Maria Elena. Present teacher. Okay, Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you, Mataira. Present teacher. Hi. Misael. Present teacher. And somebody's telling me that I miss her name and it's Mayra. Mayra. <laughs> okay, Mayra. Uh, Wendy? Present teacher. Jenny is not here. Yesenia, is it? Present teacher. Okay, Yesenia, you are number 20. According to my list, you are uh, the number 20. Uh, it's your opportunity to ask, to clarify some questions that maybe you can, how you can stay at the end of the class. Before you go, uh, let me tell you this in Spanish. Al inicio, les mencioné que la asistencia es sumamente importante, deben de cumplir con el 80%. Lamentablemente, eh, pues han habido algunos eh, problemas, quizá con algunos. Y pues a estas alturas, cada quien sabe cuánto es lo que ha faltado. Así es que uh, Aclaro que en mi caso vuelvo a, a decir lo mismo, yo controlo esto. De sus asistencias o inasistencias, pero de ahí cualquier otra decisión, no, it's not my, it's not my decision. Sino your decision, porque ya ustedes saben eh, cuántas asistencias son las que deben de tener o cuántas fallan. En base a eso, eh, a veces es necesario tomar en cuenta esos aspectos para no agotarlos porque pues, se puede presentar una necesidad. Entonces, eh, al momento de auditar el, el, la clase, eh, Insafor es bastante meticuloso en la asistencia. Aclarando eso, eh, I want to thank you to stay until this time, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Hi, and teacher. I, and I hope that all of you uh, resolve all the exercises that you have in the platform. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. See bye. you. Blessings. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye, Miss Alina. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night. Hi, teacher. I'm Bye. Selena. Hi, take care. Hi. Hello. Hi, just a question. Uh, we have to complete all the exercises in the website. Yeah, in the platform. And after that, uh, we don't have to do any exam. No, only just the midterm that you already took. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. And, that... uh, sorry, I was 
I was handy with my dog when you pass the list. Ah, okay, don't worry. Don't <laughs> okay. worry. About, uh, I guess this is the first module that you are with us, right? Okay. Thank you. Good night. Okay. You too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.